He was part wildlife expert, part entertainer. And Steve Irwin went on to become world famous for his television series, The Crocodile Hunter, and other nature programs. Along with his spine-tingling adventures, Steve Irwin considered himself a wildlife educator, sharing his knowledge and enthusiasm for animals with his viewers, and one of his favorites were endangered tigers. Like a lot of apex predators in the world, tigers are on the thin edge of the wedge. They're facing down the barrel of extinction, so we highlight the beauty and fascinate people about them, try to get tigers into people's hearts so as we can save them from the inevitable. Irwin met American Terry Rains in 1991. The couple later married and spent part of their honeymoon filming crocodiles. Four years later, the series was picked up by the American cable network Animal Planet. At the peak of its popularity, the show aired in more than 200 countries. Steve and Terry had two children, daughter Bindi and son Bob. And with a young family, Steve became concerned with children's television. The power of the media is kind of seeping into children across the world. And so what we have to do is try and saturate it with stuff that is fun to, uh, and entertaining and then get in uh, educational messages uh, so as, uh, as these young people get into young adults and into adulthood, they've got some good, um, good quality. Steve Irwin thought nothing of tangling with deadly snakes, spiders, lizards and, of course, crocodiles. But he stirred up even greater controversy in 2004 for feeding a crocodile while holding his infant son. Irwin sometimes drew criticism for his wildlife stunts, too. Some said he was exploiting the animals that appeared on his show. Well, it's, uh, to me, it's very, very unfortunate. Uh, I didn't know Steve. I knew of Steve and his work. And uh, in as much as I have a lot of respect for, for his message, which was uh, an environmental message, an ecological message, uh, the approach that he had taken, which was to uh, interfere with nature, jump on animals, grab them, hold them, and, and have this very, very uh, uh, spectacular, uh, dramatic way of presenting things, uh, of course, go, goes uh, very well on television. It sales, it, uh, it appeals to a lot of people, but I think it's, it's very misleading. Uh, you don't touch nature, you just look at it. Steve Irwin always appeared in his trademark khaki shirt and shorts and became a well-known figure in popular culture. Crikey, an Australian expression of surprise, became his catchphrase. And there have been countless parodies and spoofs of the adventurer. But Irwin was serious about wildlife welfare and ran an organization to rescue and protect crocodiles and supported numerous other animal charities. Bursting with enthusiasm, Steve Irwin's passion for reptiles and the environment was only surpassed by his love for his family. He certainly demonstrated a fearless approach to wildlife, but when it came to photo opportunities, Irwin was publicity shy. We took it at the zoo and a wonderful photographer named Greg Barrett took the photo and he's doing world famous things in New York and he's a terrific Australian bloke and we just loved him and Steve as you can imagine had an extremely low patience threshold so whenever we had a photographer in Steve would usually give them about two or three goes and then move on so Greg was one of the few people who could capture him. And a love of wildlife and performing runs in the family with daughter Bindi starring in her own TV series. Yeah, I really want to continue my dad's legacy with wildlife work, and um, it's really nice because I can actually sing and dance, and um, that's saving wildlife and singing and dancing um, is my passion. In 2006, Irwin was snorkeling near a stingray. He was pierced in the chest by its barb and died of cardiac arrest.